you might be wondering why I'm struggling trying to use a typewriter instead of my computer. The truth is that today is National Typewriter Day and I thought I'd honor this great invention by using it in place of my computer today. It just has not been working out that great. Come in. Hey John, you said you were sending me an email? I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, sorry about that. Here you are. Oh, um, thanks? Where was I? Oh right, National Typewriter Day was founded to honor the anniversary of the granting of a patent to three American inventors in 1868. The inventors, Christopher Scholz, Carlos Glidden, and Samuel Soule, were the first to have their typewriter commercially marketed. It looked a bit like a toy piano, using piano keys to type only uppercase letters, but it revolutionized the world of communications. Originally, within the patent text and images, their machine was only supposed to have 21 keys. However, in a physical patent model, which was submitted to the United States Patent Office, it only had 11 keys. Today, the Patent Office no longer requires physical models of an idea to be submitted, and that's a good thing. 10 years later, after much criticism and market testing, Scholz introduced the QWERTY keyboard in a new typewriter patent, titled that due to the arrangement of the letters in the top left row. If that sounds somewhat familiar to you, that's because it's the current keyboard used on almost all computers and electronic devices today. That same year, the Model 2 Remington typewriter introduced lowercase type and a shift key for uppercase, leading to an increase in sales and a boom in the need for typewriters and typing jobs as a result. As innovation soared and technology progressed, electric typewriters and eventually computers made the original typewriter obsolete. But we still remember the invention that paved the way for communication as we know it today. <laughs>